Welcome back to another YouTube video. Today we're going to be going over our next skill, graphs of linear equations and functions. Today, both the foundation and the medium difficulty level of this skill will be uploaded. I'm going to be doing double uploads now, so we'll see how that goes in the meantime. So, let's get started. We're going to be dealing with our graphs of linear equations, understanding, oh, what exactly our all-important equation, y equals mx plus b, what that actually means. So, uh, just so we know, a linear equation, it is just an equation that graphs to a line, meaning we can have, um, it just looks like a straight line on our coordinate grid, while a function has to have um, one y value for every x value. We need to pass that vertical line test. Most of the linear equations are functions, Apart from this uh, undefined function, where the slope is undefined, it looks like x equals something. With this equation, remember, well, it doesn't pass a vertical line test because one vertical line, it contains all the points in the line. We only need one point on the line per vertical line. Okay, let's first analyze this all-important equation, and then we can get to tackling questions like this. So, m, we know that... Uh, stands for our slope. So that is how much the line rises and then how much it runs. And then we continue to do that in order to get like the the steepness of the line. So if m is greater than 1, the line is going to be generally steeper. And if m is less than 1, it's going to be a little bit more flatter. So, and then we have our b. b is our y-intercept. That is where we cross the y access. So if this is a coordinate grid, and then that is a linear equation, its y-intercept is where it crosses or intersects with our y-axis. So that is the value. Uh, b is our value for y-intercept, m is our value for slope. Um, it, if you are kind of confused on like the basics of these skills, I would recommend going to Khan Academy Digital SAT Math Practice and going to the lessons before these um, if you really need some refreshers. But this is all from 7th grade and Algebra 1. So hopefully you guys can get this. Our question, what is a y-intercept of the graph of y equals 3x plus 7? As we notice, this is in our y equals mx plus b format, so we only need to look where is that b value. The b value is right here. Positive 7. So that's our answer. 7. On to our next question. What is the slope of the line that passes through the points negative uh, 3 comma negative 5 and 1 comma 7 on the xy plane? They're looking for slope of a line from two coordinate pairs. So uh, there is an equation that you guys are expected to know for this. It is our slope formula. M equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So you you would also be familiar of this one from Algebra 1. Uh, pretty much some of the standard Algebra 1 equations that you guys are supposed to know, they would be on uh, the Algebra 1 formula or reference sheets whenever you took the state assignment, uh, the state assessment for that uh, test. So for example, in Texas, there is a star test. If you just search up Algebra 1 star, reference sheet, it would pop up all the equations that you need to know for that test and all the equations that you're expected to memorize for this test. So that is uh, helpful as well. So uh, we have our equation for our slope. We just need to now label each of our coordinate pairs. As we know, a coordinate pair is comprised of an x value and a y value. So let's label. Uh, here, I would label negative 3. That's our first x value, so that's x1. Negative 5 is our first y value. So we have x1 and y1, and then we have x2 for uh, positive 1, and then y2 as positive 7. Now we just need to substitute these values in for their respective um, variables in our formula. Okay, so y2 is 7, so we replace the y2 spot with our 7, minus y1, uh, so minus negative 5. And then that's uh, divided by 1 minus negative 3. So make sure we are inputting our negatives after that negative sign, because we still need to include this negative sign and replace the x1 with negative 3. 
So that's why here we're going to be getting two conflicting negative signs. Negative and a negative and next to each other just turns into a positive. So we are left with 7 plus 5 over 1 plus 3. 7 plus 5, that's 12. 1 plus 3 is 4. 12 divided by 4 is 3. So that's how we use our slope formula. On to our next question. Finding slope of a line from a graph. So here we just need to take uh, two clear intersections of the line with our little grin marks here. Uh, so those gray grin marks that we're going to be looking for clear intersections. And then we can do rise over run from those. Okay, so here's a grid intersection right here. And uh, so is here. So now we just need to do rise. We rise one value plus one. And then we run one, two, three, four values. Just given from our slope formula before, we see the y was over the x. That stays true here, y over x. So now we take our y value, or vertical change, our 1, and we put it over our x value, 4. And then we have our slope, 1 over 4. That is the slope of this line. On to our last question here. What is the slope of the... Uh, graph of the given equation, we just need to see, oh, this is in y equals mx plus b format, which value is replacing the m? And that is 3 sevenths. We can obviously see that is in the place of the m in our y equals mx plus b equation, as it is next to our x value. That means it is the slope of the line, and our answer for this question, 3 over 7. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. Just kind of getting into the basics of the skill. Uh, expect to see the medium um, difficulty level of this skill come out later this afternoon. So be uh, stay tuned for that. Have a fantastic day and goodbye.